Hello to all you saucy ladies and rakish lads. Get ready to rip those bodices and release those flowing locks because this is Bodice Ripping, a podcast where we rip romance novels and compare them to real life relationships. Uh, I'm Allie, and this episode I'm drinking a gumption hard cider. Nice. Um, and then my lovely co hosts are. I'm Rachel, and today I'm drinking Barefoot Pink Moscato, because I'm a classy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lauren, and I'm drinking a spot in Oktoberfest, because it is Oktoberfest season! Yay! Spooky. The best of all the seasons. Mm-hmm. I'm Gina, and I've already halfway finished a vodka Sprite, <laughs> um, because that's all I have. <laughs> I should have made some fancy, like, New Orleans drink, but I, well, this book doesn't deserve it, let's be honest. Yeah, no. <laughs> a set of New Orleans and it wasted it. <laughs> yes, it did. Um, okay, so, on that note, um, I picked the book this month, and, uh, well, no, technically it was last month, but, um... We were slow. We yeah. were slow. <laughs> Rachel was the only one who had finished it. Um, I was in the middle of moving, and I'm still in the middle of unpacking everything after moving. Yeah, it's it's, it's not. Rough. I still didn't finish the book, <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> we're back where we were. Um, I finished it, was... it, and I'm jealous of Lauren. <laughs> To scrub my brain of this experience. <laughs> um, but, okay, so uh, the book this month was Night Pleasures by uh, <laughs> Sherilyn Kenyon. Horrible title. Kenyon? Um, Kenyon? It's the first uh, in the Dark Hunter series. Um, isn't yeah. it the second? I thought it was the first. Oh, okay. Yeah, it says that on the cover yep. of the book okay. I didn't read. It said it says number one on the book, but like an Amazon says it's number two. So yeah, I was my like, Kindle notes say number two, but also number one. So I was thoroughly there must confused be like some sort it. of like pre story or something that some of them count and some of them. Don't. It says yeah, th- there's one called Fantasy Lover before it. Apparently, <laughs> okay, this lady sucks at titles. There are so <laughs> many of these. Oh. Like, okay. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, oh, but yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a list of the books in this Fast series. Lover. Huh. Night Embrace. <laughs> There's so many of them. It's wow. too many of them. <laughs> like... Is there a list? I have the physical book, too. Oh, good lord! <laughs> Do you see this? There's more in the physical book. Look at <laughs> what the all shit? of that. All of that. They're not all from the same series, but... Okay. That's too many. That's... That's something, at least. <laughs> um, she writes a lot. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Kindle. I came so, really, um, really close to accidentally just buying the sequel. So oh, dear I'm God. I'm just going to back out <laughs> of that. Are you sure you want to purchase this? Are you sure? No. <laughs> I did not. Thank you. <laughs> no. No, thank you. <laughs> um, so, Rachel, you said that you had a synopsis because mine I... is only 75% done. I do. I have a wonderful synopsis. It's not very in detail because I didn't want to think about it too hard. <laughs> That's fine. So, here we go. Night pleasures. <laughs> So it starts off with our leading lady, Amanda, who has a supernatural family of parents and eight sisters. Good Lord. Um, But she wants to be normal. And so she becomes an accountant because that's like the most normal you could be, I guess. Um, So the story begins right after she's split from Cliff, her very average fiance, um, because he had weird issues with her weird family. So he broke it off and she's kind of sad about it, but kind of like, eh, he was pretty normal anyway so I guess whatever um so she goes to her sister's house to like let her dog out I guess her twin sister Tabitha um who is a vampire hunter by the way um so she goes there and she's mistaken as her twin sister by a demon and she wakes up handcuffed to a sexy man (laughs) (laughs) um who is Kyrian our leading man and he is a dark hunter from ancient Greece (laughs) Who's also a vampire, but also not. (laughs) The book was kind of unclear about it. (laughs) So anyway, this demon that uh, handcuffed them together, his name 
Deciduous or something like that. They call him Desi during the book because, I don't know, I guess Deciduous is too long. (laughs) I mean, I wouldn't want to write that out all the time. No, I wouldn't either. Um, So he handcuffed him together because he figures that she's going to kill this guy for him, but they end up helping each other because they're both like, oh no, they're hot, so they help each other. (laughs) (laughs) Like Um, you do. Yeah, like you do. (laughs) Um, (laughs) So these handcuffs are made by Hephaestus, I guess, so they have to get the help of Aphrodite or Hephaestus to get them off, and, uh, which they do, because Aphrodite and Hephaestus regularly visit Amanda's, like, friend and her husband, because he's also, like, a Greek god or something, demigod. That makes sense. I don't know, it's very convoluted. (laughs) Um, so this demon, Desi, who is revealed to be, he is both an Apolite which is a race of beings created by Apollo to rival humans who only live to be 27 unless they turn demon and feed off souls. Uh, And a demigod, son of Bacchus, so he is both an Apolite and a demigod. Um, He becomes obsessed with trying to kill Kyrian, and Amanda kind of gets all wrapped up in it, and she's pissed off about it. Um, So Kyrian, who was betrayed in his human life in ancient Greece by his wife... Uh, so now he has issues with trust and true love. That's what hold him, holds him back from trying to fall in love with Amanda, but they can't fight it. They want to love each other, but they're angsty about it for literally the entire book. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, he's dealing with, like, 2,000 years of PTSD that yeah. he does not... I'm sorry if you're going to get to that. But... No. Um, okay. I might have mentioned it somewhere in here, but yeah, good addition. He's got a lot of <laughs> issues he's working through also from this... <clears throat> life of his um but they find out when they finally do kind of get over their angstiness and they just have sex for the first time um they find out that when Kyrian like finishes with Amanda his dark power dark hunter powers kind of drain away for a time I have so many thoughts on that but I'm gonna save them (laughs) (laughs) um so this means that Amanda is the key to him kind of reclaiming his soul and becoming human again because dark hunters they, like, sell their souls to Artemis in exchange for, like, eternal life and vengeance, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but Dark Hunters almost never succeed in getting their souls back. And if they don't succeed, they become shades that wander the earth in painful, hungry agony forever. So, awesome. Um, so towards the end of the book, kitty! <laughs> 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 Cat break! <laughs> I had to get the kitty out of the room. Oh. <laughs> he snuck in. Aww. <laughs> so towards the end of the book, Kyrian gets captured by Desi, and he's almost killed by being left out in the sun, because he's a vampire, I guess. <laughs> that does not. But not. He doesn't drink blood or anything. So um, Amanda finds him in time and frees him, and he heals, and he goes after Desi again, who uh, gets a hold of Amanda's mind and he uses her to drug Kyrian and take him to his evil lair. So, after that happens... Uh, my computer just fell asleep. Hang on. Uh, wake up. <laughs> this book is insane. Yeah. <laughs> <It's a ride. laughs> what yeah, is I happening? Got, um, I got as far as Desi, like, uh, crucifying Kyrian, basically. Yeah. That's about as far as I got. Yeah. Um... So this kind of happens again, he crucifies him, and he, like, shoots him through the heart with a crossbow bolt. But um, as it turns out, Amanda's only pretending to be under mind control, um, because she knows how to get Kyrian's soul back, which is, he has to die, and then she has to hold his soul, which is in the form of, like, this really hot medallion (laughs) on the tattoo he gets from where Artemis turned him into a dark hunter. (laughs) So he dies, she holds this medallion on, and it's like burning fury of a thousand suns, whatever. And um, his soul is returned, and he's human again, and they kill the demon, and it's all happy, and then they get married and make a baby, and that's the end of the book. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, I missed a lot. <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> Just stuff kept happening, and I was like, oh, this is happening now? All right. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> some other notes. Yeah, if you have anything to add, I just really quick wrote some shit down, so. Yeah. Um, there's Nick, who is Kyrian's squire. Right. All of the Dark Hunters have, like, human... They... 
I don't know. They pretend it's a job, but it's really more of indentured servitude. Mm -hmm. um, who kind of protect them during the daytime because they can't go in the sun. So, so Nick is like this teenager that lives with Kyrian and has a weird sense of humor. Mm -hmm. um, Artemis shoots... No, Aphrodite shoots lightning out of her hands. Oh, that is yeah, something I, I learned. <laughs> I forgot that that happened. <laughs> um, there's Asheron. They call him Ash. Uh, he's like the leader of the vampire monster hunter guys. He's like really buddy buddy with Artemis. They're probably doing it. I don't know. <laughs> Even though isn't Artemis like canonically like a lesbian? But anyway. <laughs> um, but Asheron is the one who tells Amanda like how to get Kyrian's soul back and everything. Because he finds out that the only way to beat Desiderius is with a dark hunter with a soul. Because that's never been done before. In Buffy. And... <laughs> <laughs> well, plus, um... <laughs> there's, like, a little scene where isn't Ash talking to Kyrian and he tells him this prophecy about a dark hunter with a soul. And they're just like, oh, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, that'll it's, never happen. <laughs> it's very straightforward. They're just like, oh, these riddles. They're so vague. I'm like, no, it literally just told you. Mm -hmm. It's basically uh, like, ah, oh, the demon can only be defeated with a vampire with a soul. And they're like, I don't know, man. <laughs> but it's a pickle. <laughs> The These freaking oracles are useless like always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I have so many thoughts about this book. Yeah. So many. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about first. Um, you know what? We're just going to start with my first highlights, which was page one. <laughs> I also have a highlight on page one, and I'm excited to see if it's the same one. I, okay, I've got two page one highlights. Okay. Um, let's see. How do I do this thing? There we go. Uh, my first one was when they very first describe Kyrian. It's with the strength of Ares, the body and face of Adonis, and the sensual gifts of Aphrodite. He was sought by all women who saw him. <laughs> like, of course he was. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? Yep. And then my next one was just, for he was passion, <laughs> desire, all things sensual and hot. Yeah, that was my highlight. <laughs> oh, I've got one later. Um, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hold on. Um, oh, okay, there's two. So here's one on page 22. He was built for sex and for speed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, and also, I have a lot of highlights. You know what? I don't need to find this because I remember it. Oh, he was sex, she realized. <laughs> <laughs> She's been talking about this the whole book, but she just now realized he was yeah. sex. <laughs> Page 169. <laughs> 69. <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. Uh, we're adult women. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you have more, Ellie? Oh, I've got a lot more, but I'm just going to kind of, I think, go through them as they come up. Okay. Um, I guess, what, what did we want to talk about first? <laughs> well, I have my notes all blocked out. Can we just talk about the bad writing so we can get through that? Yeah, that was yeah. my first writing style, was the first section, and it kept fucking switching point of view right in the middle of, like, paragraphs between Amanda and Kyrian's point of view, and it was really confusing. Yes, yes it was. I, I could, find some of oh. my... Oh, go on. I, no. I just have a few examples of bad writing that I... Yeah. No, I just... You know, they'd be... T she'd be talking through like Kyrian's point of view and using Kyrian blah 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 and then it would suddenly switch to Amanda's point of view and she called him like Hunter or something and I was like wait what what <laughs> it didn't even like paragraph break or anything it was just like right right in the middle all the time also, the whole book <laughs> there's a really good chance that I just missed it but I don't remember there being anything about Amanda and Tabitha being twins until like 80% of the way through the book 
Like, think, uh, you knew they were sisters. It. They it do mention it, it at the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Because that's how they're all like, oh, that's how she got mistooken, because you're twins. They're identical. Or... Blah, yeah. Blah. <laughs> okay, I missed that. I don't think it comes up very often. Like, it's only it's... mentioned when she gets kidnapped. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to sort between just, like, ridiculous things and bad writing. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's a very fuzzy line. Yeah, I where was this thing. I had a my highlight. biggest problem with the writing was, um, or at least the thing that bugged me the most about it was that it's all set in New Orleans, mm-hmm. and there's like no accented writing. You can't tell at all that these people are supposed to be like Cajun or Deep South, which she claims that they are. Yeah, she's like half Cajun, isn't she? Yeah. And it just it's just written like an old good northern midwestern accent. Yeah. <laughs> and uh they don't even really talk about New Orleans like if there's like events going on that would maybe relate it to the locate the location yeah. and the scenery and everything. It's just it's just the city. Yeah, it was just used as hey, they're in New Orleans and then they just never like yeah, do you do anything There's no, there's no description. We're like, the oh, he's in the French Quarter, but that's yeah, it. That's like, it. Like, yeah, like <laughs> okay, you clearly did not do any research. Yeah, on New Orleans. Like, what's that look like? What is what is around there? What's happening? Who are the other people? Like, how can it, it's really hard from the reader to be like, yes, it's New Orleans. We're there. When yeah, yeah. there's just no description. Yeah, it, they could have got she could have gotten way cultural with it and like. Also, for being in New Orleans, there was, like, not a POC character in sight. No. Uh Like, they were all white and Greek. (laughs) I'm like, uh... And blonde. (laughs) And blonde, yeah. I was like, uh... (laughs) There was one. way imbalanced. There was one. Oh, The, uh, (laughs) the nurse that helps them at the hospital. Or not the nurse, the the mortician or whatever that helps them at the hospital when they go there after getting handcuffed. They mentioned he was black. Cool. I didn't, I didn't... Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, the, the one guy driver. at yeah, the very beginning one, okay, who you never one meet black again. Guy. <laughs> whole book was, in New Orleans. <laughs> I was like, you know, it said it was set in New Orleans, and, you know, I was just, like, imagining the the main character's family as being, like, black or, like, half black or, you know, mm-hmm. but then it just made it really, really obvious that they weren't, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yep. I, We're in I kept on New imagining. Orleans, and we've got no culture going on here. Yeah, but. I just imagined her as I imagined her as biracial because she's like half Cajun, half Romanian, or something. Like, oh, that's cool. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. but she's got like red hair or something. I was like, wait, and what? green eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Come like on. her actual physical features don't at all match what they're trying to claim her ethnicity to be. Yeah, yeah it was very strange. She somehow has dark hair and blue eyes. She has blue eyes? <laughs> yeah, and a tiny freckle just below her right eye. Oh, cool. <laughs> that mark alone huh. distinguished her from her sister. Oh, there. really? <laughs> <laughs> the one freckle. Tiny freckle. One the rest of them freckle. are the same. It's just that one. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. <laughs> and their perfume. Okay. Apparently okay. their perfume. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right. They smell different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's mentioned a lot. Huh. Um, okay, so the most obvious, like, really, really obvious examples of bad writing are the sex scenes, because if it's going to be in there, that's where it's going to be. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I've got a couple of examples that um, I just couldn't get through with a straight face. <laughs> um, so here's one. He watched as she scooted down his body then took the whipped cream and made him a loincloth with it. <laughs> oh, I have that one highlighted, too. What? <laughs> what? Her Why would you graze the whipped erection cream there? As the cool cream coated him. <laughs> I'm like, that is the least unsexy whipped cream scene that I've ever read in my life. When yeah. I think of sexy no. scenery, I think of scooting and whipped cream loincloths. Loin I don't know. <laughs> okay, right? uh, you, say, you say scooting, and I'm just picturing like just, just like the, with the wheelchair. Like, scoot, 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 scoot. scoot, scoot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just scoot on past you there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here, 
here's my favorite one. You guys ready for this one? Yeah, I'm ready. I don't know if you are. Rachel might be, but... Uh. <laughs> he slid his hand over her soft belly, then down through her nether curls so he could touch her swollen nub. <laughs> I do remember reading nether wow. curls and making a face. I think, like, eh, you don't call it that. Mm-hmm. Oh, there was... Oh, that just reminded me. I had a highlight of how they described... Oh, gosh, hold on. I need to find it. Keep going. I'll find it, and then I'll get back to it. It's like how they described her pubic hair at one point. <laughs> Other yeah, than it's just, nether curls. <laughs> some of these are like, she just wrote them as filler, and then nobody said anything about it. <laughs> the editor was like, that can stay. <laughs> At, at one point, they described, I found it, at one point, they described, like, her, like, pubic hair area as the dark triangle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> at least in art history, they call it the pelvic triangle. <laughs> like, yeah, even right? that's better. Like, oh the, the my dark, God. why? That's I'm gonna so start triangle. <laughs> I'm going to refer to it as the dark triangle from now on. <laughs> Where the sun doesn't hit and items are never seen again. <laughs> like, that, that that's not oh. getting me, like, into the moment of the scene. That's just no. kind of means, like, the fuck did you just the call it? <laughs> oh, lordy. <laughs> um, here's one more that's not sexual, but just as bad. So, there's this really, like... It's supposed to be just, like, this emotional and tense part where he's leaving her because he's afraid that she's going to be in danger if they stay together. And, um, and he knows they can never be together and she's getting, like, too involved and he's getting too involved. So he's like, I just gotta go. So during the day, he travels around in his friend's ambulance in a body bag. Because. <laughs> so so they're in this fight. She's, like, begging him not to leave. <laughs> and he basically just says, no, I'm going. That's it. And then this happened. <laughs> Before she could argue, he flipped gracefully into the body bag and zipped it closed. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I do remember that. I think I just moved on. I'm like, I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> just parkoured right on in there. Yeah, can you just imagine? She's like, no, no, please don't leave me. And he's just like, hoop, zip. <laughs> I said good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, apologies to anybody listening who does not like listening to other people laugh. You're you're fucked in this episode. <laughs> like Jesus. Yeah. Also please read this book so you know. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, terrible writing. Okay. Uh-huh. Now we can move on. <laughs> now that that's out of the way. <laughs> um so oh, oh, I'm sorry. Ahead. I have one no, more. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Please go on. His exquisitely hard body sinuously sliding against her. Sinuously sliding. Sinew is not sexy. Yeah, no. that just sound, it kind of makes it sound a little slimy and sweaty, and that's just what <laughs> And, like, I get, Ugh. like, hard body, they meant to be, like, muscular or whatever, but I'm just, like, that also doesn't come across to me. Like, it just kind of sounds like it's just, like, this wet rock. <laughs> And his stomach. Oh, heaven. Those flat abs had been made for nibbling. (laughs) Oh my god, this is great. (laughs) What is happening? (laughs) (laughs) Lauren, aren't you so sad you didn't read this book? (laughs) You know, I think it's actually useful because I'm coming from it the same as the audience, you know? Ah. So maybe I just don't read the books every month. (laughs) (laughs) We rotate who picks the book and we rotate who doesn't read it. Who doesn't actually read it. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay, so I have some other problems with this. I had a lot of problems with it. Mm. Um, plot and pacing was one. <laughs> and the angst and the pining and the simple plot that could have been solved a lot sooner filled with angst and pining. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's a lot of <sighs> angst and pining for knowing each other for, like, three days. I know! <laughs> it's, like, day two, and they are just, like, so in love they can't be apart. <laughs> and she had just broken up with her fiancé. Of, like, five years they dated or something. <laughs> mm-hmm. She was just kind of like, eh, it's over, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like, I have kind of some comments about that, too. There's some of the stuff that I highlighted, like, right at the beginning when they're kind of introducing her character and the whole, oh, you know, her boyfriend dumped her because he thought her family was too weird. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've got that quote. Um, <laughs> just because it was just, um... Hang on. I'm sorry. Remember I told you that I kept mishighlighting yes. a bunch of times. <laughs> Here we are. I've got to find the right one. Kindle okay. highlighting is good. <clears throat> Afterward, Cliff had driven her home. I can't marry a woman with a family like that, he'd said as she handed her engagement ring back to him. Good God, what if we had kids? Can you imagine what would happen if some of that rubbed off? Leaning her head back, Amanda could still kill her family for the embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it shouldn't take that many years to figure out that someone's family is a deal breaker. Well, yeah. she she wouldn't let him meet them. Oh, that was a mistake. He, that was the first yeah. time he met them. Yeah. But Five like, years she gets in. Mad at her family because her fiance is a giant douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I feel like you shouldn't be mad at your family in that situation. <laughs> anyway, go on, Allie. That's... Yeah. Um. No, that's kind of a good like the. Parts that I have highlighted are kind of, like, after or around in that same area, like, when she's talking to one of her sisters about it. I think it was one of her sisters. Somebody. Probably. There's um, eight of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the quotes I have hi- highlighted is, she'd always wanted a house full of kids, but at 26, her prospects appeared bleak. And, like, that was her reasoning for why she was upset about what's his face Le- dumping her she's like, like essentially feeling you're, like you're an old maid at 26 you're, you don't... Yeah. you're gonna be a spinster if you're not married by 26 <laughs> yeah. everyone knows Cle- clearly like... that's why i got married you know right before <laughs> my birthday <laughs> weeks <laughs> otherwise you turn into a pumpkin <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> Babe, you need to put a ring on it. I'm going to become a gourd. <laughs> it's true. That, it's true. <laughs> that idea of, like, 26 was too old to get married. Like, when the hell was this book written? 1950? And even, and even have kids. You can have kids way past 26 safely nowadays. Yeah. Uh, like, 2005 or, um, is or when could, it was written. You could adopt if you want lots of kids and you're, like, a little too old for it. Like, there's options. There's many yeah, options. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. This is 13 years ago. I mean, the technology just <laughs> wasn't there. Right. So We're instead talking she dark ages. decides to, like, run off with a dead guy who can't come. <laughs> I mean, right? That, I mean, it yeah. seems like a good solution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this will be fine. Well, and, and then, like, not too long after that, she, like, basically, like, Oh, accepts it. It's like, if not for her whacked out family, she might have actually married him and then found out too late that she didn't truly love him. Huh. It's like, <laughs> okay, clearly you didn't care that much if it took you, like, three pages to get over it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was even a part where it's just like, she had just broken up with him, and she's just like, I'm not even upset about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. That should yeah. be a huge red flag there. Um, (laughs) there's also this whole thing, like, throughout the entire book, they're painting her ex as this gigantic asshole, which, I mean, he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But also, um, we get this little glimpse into their relationship. Um, so she's going to let her sister's dog out, and she doesn't want to. (laughs) And 
It says, pulling her gloves on, she headed down the sidewalk, wishing Cliff were here to do this chore. She couldn't count the time she had suckered him into letting Terminator out of Tabitha's house on his way home. <laughs> Sounds like a healthy relationship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Clearly this was all one-sided. He was an asshole and she was just perfect. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a lot of problems with her. You could tell the author did not care for her as a character. She very much favored Kyrian as a character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Amanda was just kind of like the cardboard girl that he ends up with because it's a romance book. He has to end up with somebody. Yeah, well, I mean, she made her an accountant. (laughs) Yeah. Like, of all of the career choices to give a character, (laughs) accountant. well, Well, even the rest of her sounded really interesting, like supernatural family. She's got this cool, like, background like cajun romanian mm-hmm. she's got these like suppressed psychic powers that she doesn't oh yeah use. <laughs> which is just going whole, on so out of nowhere thing. yeah but it was like terribly executed and she just came out so cardboard for me yeah. that i couldn't mm-hmm. even i couldn't get into it i'm like this is awful well it's just like she talks about how she wants the boring life and the she that's why she's an accountant she wants 2.5 kids and a white picket fence Mm-hmm. And now she's getting dragged into all this, and it's the last thing she wanted, but then she... I don't know. It doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. She's just like, yeah. okay, I guess I'm here. I hate it. There's all these, like, <laughs> and then she doesn't. Things. Yeah. <laughs> There's all these various things that could make her a super interesting character that and are just like, yep, they're there. <laughs> like, okay, the, the, the powers thing that uh, I think Rachel mentioned earlier. Yeah just like pops up out of nowhere in the middle of the book they're like oh yeah well what about those powers you have I'm like and she's like not important yeah <laughs> well, yeah no i just i don't like that i have them I'm like you have fucking psychic powers and we're just finding out about this now <laughs> you have like telekinesis and shit like jesus <laughs> yeah yeah she's just and like, then at the eh. at the end of the book um desiderius because he like enslaves her mind or he thinks he does so he unlocks all of her powers, and then they get into this fight, and she's just, like, slamming doors with her mind and, like, throwing people into walls, and it's like... <laughs> and you're like, just like, did... no, I want to be an accountant. <laughs> it's like, when did you even learn to do that with, like, <laughs> I... finesse? <laughs> yeah, that's the things that keep claiming, that they, like, every time she uses them, it's like, oh, her untrained powers, is like... She clearly knows how to use them. She wouldn't be able to do any of this shit if she didn't know how to use them. Yeah, and there they keep a... saying, like, she's super empathetic, like, you know, when when Kyrian's, like, upset or something, she, like, feels physical pain, mm-hmm. which is Or when they're weird. having sex, she can feel oh, what yeah. it's like she for him. Oh, yeah, she can feel oh, yeah. herself, yeah. like, I just <laughs> as found himself. that page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's she, weird. Like, yeah, she, like, becomes him and can feel, like, him inside of herself. Yeah. It was well, as it if they were really too. one person. She felt him inside her, and she could feel herself around him. Kyrian struggled to breathe as he felt it too. They stared into each other's eyes. <laughs> it's just so weird. Yeah. There was the second time that happened. They like switched perspectives in the middle of it, so it was her perspective. And then, like the next line, it was just like. He could feel her inside him, and I'm just like, <laughs> what just happened? Let me dissect the sentence because, uh. <laughs> yeah. That's not how that works. You know. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of. Unless weird... there was some uh, little kinky stuff going on there that they didn't want to explain. <laughs> like, they Sneakily. Just positions for a second. Are they sneakling? Yeah. <laughs> Sneakling. <laughs> Can we talk about how she's a literal rapist? Uh, she... no. <laughs> Let's move on to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So why don't I remember this? I don't either. It was it was like at the end. It was at the end. Um, so the first part <gasps> oh, that was I know getting iffy. I know was... what you're talking about now. <laughs> okay, so he's got like PTSD from mm-hmm. being tortured for a week and crucified which mm. i mean yeah, okay fair. <laughs> um and so Desiderius like can find his weakness which is like having his arms outstretched and tied down and so he like 
gets him into that position and he like has panic attacks and can't function and so amanda's just like well we gotta fix this otherwise you're like super vulnerable and she doesn't tell him anything about what she's planning to do or anything she just like comes in and starts like tying his hands down and he's just like no and she's like no trust me and he's like um no 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 means no honey Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. (laughs) And so she, like, ties his wrist. I mean, she eventually, like, convinces him to agree to it, but it's just, like... It's very... Yeah, cool. (laughs) And and so then they do that, they have sex once, and, oh, his PTSD is cured, because that's how that works. Yeah. Like, he's Mm -mm. fine after that. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, (laughs) there was... The next time, when she was supposedly being compelled by dessert... Desiderius, which is where it was like, eh, I wouldn't put it in the book like that, but I see where you're going. Except then you find out that she wasn't actually being compelled by him. She was just pretending to. Um, but she had to get him to lose his dark hunter powers, which meant that she had to get him to orgasm. And so they're having sex, and he is literally saying, no, stop, no, no, stop, and she is not doing that. Mm -hmm. Like, she just keeps going. And it's like... And then Desiderius walks in, and it's just like, oh, well, okay, she was being compelled by literal evil, like, yeah, I still wouldn't have written it that way. Like, I would have made it a lot more, you know, this is bad, instead of, like, that's happening. Yeah. Which is definitely the tone that was going on there. But then you find out that she was just pretending to be compelled by him. And so then I felt a lot weirder about it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, she was trying to use the excuse that, oh, but I was like, I had to pretend to be compelled. Like, no. That's still bad. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, it's like, it was yeah. not written in a way that's like, this is a horrifying and awful thing to do to another person. Like, yeah. it wasn't like that at all. It's just like, yep, that happened. And then, you know, he orgasmed. It felt good at the end. It's like, no. <laughs> it's not, not how it works. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that made me really uncomfortable. I forgot about that part. I forgot. I think I kind of just skipped over it and went, all right, I'm just going to get through this and just finish it because, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was definitely really close to the end, so. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the last few chapters or something. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, on the other hand, Kyrian was all right as a character, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, he was Besi- okay. Yeah, besides like the angsty brodiness kind of broodiness. Not birdiness, birdiness, kind of like, it kind of killed it for me. It got old really fast, mm-hmm. and it just, ugh. My main problem with Kyrian is that for a guy who is 2,000 plus years old, who knows gods, um, he sure acts like a 30-year-old who's been to ancient Greece a couple times. <laughs> And then the other characters, like, none of them really stood out at all, except for maybe no. um, Archeron, whatever the hell his name is, and Talon, which is another, like, Dark Hunter buddy of theirs. Like, he had sort of a personality, and I'm assuming, like, they get books of their own later. Yeah. yeah. Allie, did you see Talon? Did you get to that part? Yes. Yeah, no, I've okay. seen Talon. Um, I got well, I mean, far... did you get to the part where they, they go to his house? Um, doesn't he live in the swamp? Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. So <laughs> he go lives in a shack in the swamp, and he's got crocodiles guarding it, <laughs> and he's a nudist, and also an ancient Celt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly want to read more about him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds interesting. I mean, uh, if we want to talk about how unfocused this book was, let's just look at this character. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm guessing the only reason he was even in it was to set him up for his own book because he stuck out like a sore thumb amongst all oh, yeah. of these like Greek <laughs> gods and goddesses and vampires and demons and <clears throat> it was it was too much. <laughs> Too much crammed into one very strange book. Um, another thing that bothered me too was the whole Dark Hunter, Vampire, Demon, Appellate distinctions were like oh my very, God. <laughs> very not thought out and they were really confusing and main characters were using them like interchangeably all the time. Like yep. Vampire and Dark yeah. Hunter, even though they really kind of shouldn't have been. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there was like, this was all explained through like a seven page long info dump <laughs> and it's just like, oh, here's all of the background. This is the difference between, like, dark hunters and apolites. And there's, like, five other things that exist in this world. Demons. Um, and so they explain that all at once. And then you're just, like, expected to remember it. And it's like... Yeah. But then they still use the terms wrong. Yeah. Because yeah. he's like, I'm not a vampire, I'm a dark hunter. And then she keeps saying, like, I shouldn't have fallen in love with a vampire. And it's like, but he's not actually a vampire. <laughs> Stop calling him a vampire. Even like And I then Nick, the... like, buys him all this vampire stuff to decorate his apartment. He's got, mm-hmm. like, a coffin coffee table and, like... Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Allie, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, um, I was just going to say that uh, even the... I guess the closest thing that could be described as vampires in this book are still called, like... Demons? Demons. Demons, demons. It's demons, but it's spelled, like, daemon, which I also don't understand. Yeah. Like... I think it was just trying to be fancy. (laughs) Yeah. Just call them fucking demons. Just call them demons. Like when you spell color with a U. Yeah. (laughs) Color. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. Demon. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like the vampire, but like the the Appellites were also like demons when they decided to take souls. Like they didn't suck blood; they sucked souls or something. Because okay, otherwise, they that, died. <laughs> is that what like the Desi guy was supposed to be? Because they always called him a demon. Yeah, yeah. he's an Appellate and then a demigod. But he's but the, also a daemon because the daemons are the apolites that yeah. chose to suck souls instead of dying. At yeah. Okay. So something. it's like a sub species kind yeah. of. Yeah. But That's they were just also, also vampires. Confusing. Yeah, That's just I don't also know. Confusing. <laughs> I don't think they're technically were vampires. Like, it's yeah. They, they kind of talk about like this is where the vampire lore came from, and they just kind of let it go. They shouldn't have kept using vampire then. <laughs> yeah. There's um speaking of using words wrong. Oh. <laughs> um there's a part at the end where they're like in a sword fight cuz he's got a sword that uh-huh. like extends. It's weird. Um <laughs> there he goes, Kyrian caught the first one with a parry that caused him to explode into powder. Like so a parry is a blocking It's a block move. to move yeah. the so uh-huh. Yeah, it shouldn't have caused anything to explode anywhere, no. but... <laughs> no. Boom! <laughs> I didn't even catch that one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they used dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we want to get into... Okay, so they killed the main villain, which I mentioned, but I didn't mention how. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. How did that's, they... a, that's a ride all in itself. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle um, in, folks. Yeah, so... Amanda and Nick, I think, go to this woman who is a doll maker who also oh, makes yeah. weapons for the Dark Hunters. Oh, I remember she, her. Okay. She gives Amanda this, like, really beautiful Barbie doll <laughs> who, when you press something on her, like, these blades shoot out of her legs. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that part. And she's like, keep this with you. You might need it. <laughs> So at the end of the book, Amanda, or I don't remember if it's actually Kyrian or Amanda who uses Knife Barbie, <laughs> but that's how they kill Desi, is yeah. with Knife Barbie. Yeah. Stab <laughs> him through the Barbie. heart with a Barbie. They starve him, yeah, they stab him through the head with this Barbie who has knives that shoot out of her feet. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's beautiful. <laughs> 
I think I read that and I just put the book down and was like, <laughs> um. <laughs> I feel like this was, like, the author had some other idea what she wanted that Barbie to be used for, and then got to the end of the book, and was like, oh, shit. I oh, I forgot it. to use the Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> well, they brought it up, like, freaking every 20 pages. It's like, yeah. oh, she's got the Barbie. It's like, okay, <laughs> there's the Barbie. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I can carry this around and have it be less conspicuous than a knife. And it's like, you're a 26-year-old woman <laughs> carrying around this, like, designer Barbie doll in your purse. Like, that's weird, man. Knife is more normal at knife, some point. Knife is more normal. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh. That was the point where I was like, alright. Oh, I gave yeah. it a fair oh. chance, but yeah. I found some more bad writing. Oh, yay! This is one saying, of my got, favorite ones. I, I've got kind of my, my breaking point of the book. I think it also could be described as bad writing if you'd like. <laughs> um, it's... Uh, I don't remember... Oh, okay, they're talking about Asheron, like, when they first kind of introduce him. And Kiri is just like, oh, yeah, you know, I think he's, like, off in, in California this week. He travels to a new location every few days. Um, and she's like, why? I'm like, I don't know, I guess he just gets bored. But, I mean, like, he can do it rather quickly. As for how, he has a custom-built helicopter... That can... Okay, now the page isn't loading. <laughs> it's a custom-built helicopter that can break the sound barrier. <laughs> I remember that. Uh... Helicopters don't work like that. <laughs> well, maybe he has a special Barbie inside the helicopter. <laughs> the Barbie Speaking has of... helicopter they have blades that extend. They don't have engine. They're Barbie like, legs. <laughs> it's not like a jet engine. It can't just like take off and break the sound barrier. It's a freaking propeller. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of ancient Greek vampire technology. Oh good. Oh goody. <laughs> he good entered segue. his office and went to log on to the darkhunter.com website. Oh yeah, they kept mentioning that. I was like, when Hunter was this website. book written? It was always like darkhunter.com website. <laughs> His instant messenger program was blinking with incoming messages, and as always, his email was filled with notes from other dark hunters. <laughs> hashtag darkhunter.com, hashtag <laughs> living the hunter life. <laughs> I don't think hashtags were even a thing, because after that, I'm yeah. like, okay, when the fuck was this book written? 2005. It's like someone 2002, just actually. discovered the internet. Oh, okay. The copyright on mine's 05. Oh, mine is 2002, and then also somewhere else it mentioned, like, he had a long black leather coat and really small sunglasses, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> was this written in the 90s? And it was like 2002, like, oh, that makes sense. This is right when the major is starting to get popular. <laughs> I think I remember that description of him, because when I got to that part, I just, every single note was just like, it's Batman. He's it's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you guys, oh my god, who read the intro letter? Did anyone read the intro Oh, letter? I did not. <laughs> because it says, think... it says, for those of you who are new, welcome. I hope you find yada, yada, yada. And if you haven't been to darkhunter.com, this is your official <laughs> invitation. <laughs> Come visit the real magic of this world. This still In the meanwhile, real? welcome to the madness. That's how <laughs> she signs off her intro letter. Dark-hunter.com. Oh. This is your official invitation. Wait, it's real, right. guys. I'm, I'm going to it right fucking now. <laughs> is this a thing? Oh, it just links back to our website. What? Oh, Same. Ass. Oh. I thought it was going to be some, like, cool portal. I was, I know, I was excited. Was excited. <laughs> oh, that I wonder sucks. if it was and now it's been, like... Maybe um, it's been relinked back because they're like, yeah. all right, that's a little outdated. <laughs> that's enough of that. Will um, Wayback Machine work? Wayback Machine... Okay, you guys continue discussing. I'm okay. going to try doing something. Yeah, I need some quick research. <laughs> yeah. Just look up something real quick. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, what were we talking about? Um, I, I had another example of writing, but now I lost yes. it. Hang on. Oh. Um, oh, a couple more. Question, Amanda whispered as she studied the gorgeous blonde shadow across the street. What? How'd she know a shadow was blonde? <laughs> or gorgeous. Yeah, I... <laughs> um, 
Julian must have remembered his ancient Greek mythology because he turned out the overhead lights and turned on the small nursery lamp that bathed the room in a soothing, dull glow. What? Hmm. I remember that from ancient Greece. Right. <laughs> uh... It's not showing me anything interesting. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well. I can imagine oh, yeah, what uh... it looked like. <laughs> I, I, got, I got a good one. Okay. The hunger in his eyes intensified... I want you to feel us joined, he said raggedly. Mm. Like, mm. that's just creepy. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> and then, um, okay. So every time, like, he, he came, it seemed like he was always roaring. <laughs> I heard a scream. There was a definite scream when they climaxed somewhere in here. <laughs> I was like, do people really... Yeah, in this one, there was a lot of, like, when he would climax, he would, like, roar at yeah. it. It's just that... Um, yeah. Um, there was a lot of, like... Oh, he's got fangs. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does actually have fangs. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of just, like, oh, they've never met someone like that before. But it was just, like... Some of them were kind of insulting. Like, <laughs> okay... She was so strong, so capable. He'd never known a woman like her before. Have you never met any other two thousand years old? You've never met a strong, capable woman. Um, me and Allie both had to drink at that line. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right, here I, we go. I finished was... my wine like fifteen minutes ago. This is a disaster. <laughs> That's why he when was... you do wine, you bring the bottle. We're all yeah. gonna be done and just start taking shots. <laughs> He was definitely the best looking man she had ever seen. She knows Aphrodite's son, right? Yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> He's her, like, best friend's husband or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> um, Kyrian watched as she dribbled cheese over his spaghetti. He'd never in his life come across a woman like her. <laughs> Wait, is that sex or are they eating dinner? <laughs> no, we're literally eating spaghetti. <laughs> Who dribbles it... cheese? Is it like blah, 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 nacho blah, 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 blah. cheese? <laughs> Wait, is it like nacho or parmesan? Like I need to I'm imagining like parmesan. squeezy cheese. <laughs> I don't I don't like I'm assuming parmesan. What else would you want? <laughs> the whipped cream. <laughs> That's dairy, right? <laughs> it's kind of like an elf, you know, pour the maple syrup, put on the m and Yeah, the crush the up the top I wouldn't be surprised. She knows so little in this book. I guess. Like, yeah, here's an example. I'm sorry. Did you have one? You can go if you're going to say one. Um, I just, I, in my highlights, I came across a little, little term, like, personal thing that irked me. She calls them a druid high priest. It's not the actual fucking term. If you did, like, an ounce of Googling, you'd find out that they're actually called an arch druid. Aha! From the actual druid, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, she called it... I, I think I probably just, like, set the book down and, like, fumed about that for a solid yeah. minute. Yeah, like, I, I would, too. priest. I would, too. Because <laughs> there are no goddamn priests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Priest is a different religion, maybe one you're more familiar with. Mm -hmm. Which is why you used that term. Like, just Google, like, druid Top ranks. Top druid person. Yeah, <laughs> druid ranks. <laughs> Who's the king druid? Who's the <laughs> High priest druid. <laughs> Redirects to arch druid. Hmm. Did you mean? <laughs> I mean, she knows about the internet, so. Darkhunter.com. She knows about it, but I don't know if she knows how to use it. Oh, I suppose this was written in 2002 when the internet was kind of shitty, but still. Yeah. yeah that's that's like, no excuse. Do yeah. your research. <laughs> Libraries I mean, I exist. Don't, I don't know if Google was as big a thing back then, but I definitely know that Ask Jeeves was. Yeah. Oh, yes. Say, Ask Jeeves would have known that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jeeves. Who is the king druid? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I, found, I found one of the out. he is Batman yeah. quotes. Um, Kyrian stepped off the roof with his arms spread for balance. His black coat fluttered in the wind as he fell three stories down to the alley below. <laughs> Batman. Batman. <laughs> also Angel. 
Also, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Wait, what? <laughs> Angel, Angel from, from Buffy. Buffy. The oh! vampire with a soul who wears a long black coat. Yeah, I guess you can kind of <laughs> tell where she got her influence from. Yeah. And has oh. definitely done that whole thing before. <laughs> A lot of these books seem obsessed with guys being able to jump off of ridiculous heights. It's and also be being, like, like hundreds or more years old. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> they all it's... wear leather coats and sunglasses and, like, hiss at the sunlight. I don't <laughs> <laughs> We have a type, guys. I guess. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Here's another bad writing. Ready? That was Asheron calling with a full alert warning. She frowned. By his frenzied movements, she knew it wasn't good. <laughs> Full alert warning. You uh, know, without yeah. being able to read the body language, it could it could be anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a party. A stronger drink. <laughs> <laughs> Full god. alert. Good things just happened. Everyone, be aware. We're happy now. <laughs> oh my god! It's a party. <laughs> um. <laughs> As they turned to kill him, oh, they're talking about Dark Hunters. Mm. As they turned to kill him, he swore vengeance on all of them. Jeez, did none of them have a happy life? Now let's just go back and remember how they became Dark Hunters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is by selling their soul for vengeance. <laughs> so no. <laughs> they did not. Yep. And it's like they have to have something traumatic enough happen to them, even. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when something really bad, their soul screams out and Artemis answers is how they get the opportunity to do that. But yeah. which, which is a cool, like, I thought that was kind of a cool thing, but... Yeah, that was a cute, cool little, like, kind of story hook. Yeah, yeah like, ooh, I like that. Like, a soul scream is a really yeah. interesting like, thing. Th there but... was some really interesting stuff in this book. And then there's lines like, if she could, she would handcuff herself to him forever. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa now. <laughs> yeah. What was this first, oh my god, when they are handcuffed together at first and he was still, like, unconscious and she was just like, uh, hello? And she's like, guy? Mister? She tried again, shaking his hard muscular your muscular shoulder. Mr. Gothman, would you please wake up so I can leave? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> Mr. Gothman? Guy? Oh, Mister? Is this how you speak to people? <laughs> This is from the same part. She wanted this man. What are you, nuts? The man's a vampire. Yeah, but he's a really, really sexy one. Oh, that makes it okay. And there we have it. That's the whole, whole point of the book. Um, three pages before that, never in her life had she met a more arrogant or infuriating man. Apparently including her ex-fiancé. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she seemed pretty adamant that he was just boring, but I'd vouch and that he was also just... Yeah, and I'd infuriating. Vote that, yeah. Um, apparent, apparently at one point a character uses the word friggin, uh, oh, and she then scolds them for swearing. Them friggin... Hooligans and their yeah. <laughs> language. Just reading my fucking uh, my language. <laughs> Friggin' hooligans. Gosh darn it. We're gonna no. have to label this one extra mature. Yeah. Yeah. So the, it's it's I'll have the friggin' time of my life. And then just Nick, such language you use. It's not becoming of a gentleman. Like I'm sorry, oh, what fuck. language did he use? <laughs> yeah. It sounded alright to me, but alright. Oh, there was also, so later in the books, there were some pretty intense sex scenes, but, mm. like, the first one didn't happen until literally, like, 80% of the way through the book. Like, yeah. they had had sex before, but it was kind of just, like, they have sex, fade to black sort of thing. I mean, mm -hmm. it was a little more than that. But what they did describe in excruciating detail were the two torture scenes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like... The first one went on for, like, ten pages, and it's just, like, in this kind of book, it was the kind of detail you'd expect in a sex scene. And it's just, like, they, they, it described, like, every little thing that happened and everything he felt, and then... Oh, my God. There was, like, a sex scene, and it's, like, two pages long, and, like, 
He came and lost his powers. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> Next chapter. Yeah, but it's th- like that was uncomfortable. I'm just like, is this the whole reason you wrote this book? Yeah, because yeah, there the... are other genres. <laughs> yeah, the when they were describing like they pulled all his like fingernails off and they shattered both his kneecaps, which they mm-hmm. described way too vividly. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it's like they Ugh. got the hammer and like shattered one of his kneecaps, and it's just. Ah. Like... Oh my god. And then, the, and yeah, then they they're like pounding the him. nails into his wrists and Ah <laughs> Ah <laughs> It was not good. <laughs> yeah, it was upsetting. It was graphic detail and I'm like th- there had already been like one sex scene by then and it's just like where are your priorities? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, you don't have to write a romance novel if you don't want to. <laughs> I would have preferred you didn't, honestly. <laughs> but you did, and then you wrote 20,000 more, so thank you. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I have a couple couple more highlights from, you know, the sex scenes, whatever. Mm-hmm. I think she's giving him a hand job at this point. So she jumped in surprise. Wait. Yes, she jumped in surprise, then moaned a welcoming murmur as she quickened her fairy <laughs> strokes on his shaft. <laughs> fairy strokes. Fairy strokes. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, but I, like, I've never given a hand job and then like found it so sexy that I got turned on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hand jobs are strokes. not sexy. They're just really <laughs> awkward, and I'm just kind of sitting there like, I don't. Is this okay? okay. What's going on? I, are you are in you pain? Using I fairy can't tell. Strokes, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. I need to. I need to work on my fairy strokes. Just <laughs> gently touch. <laughs> um. Yes. He cupped. He cupped her like face in his hand. <laughs> just, well. like your, just like your two pointer fingers. Like, is this good for you, babe? <laughs> <laughs> I know what boys oh. like. <laughs> <laughs> he cupped her face in his hand and kissed her deeply. Then he took her hand into his and guided it to his swollen shaft. Without being told, she knew what he wanted. Yeah, you well... You got a freaking, like, codebreaker mastermind so. over here, you guys. Oh my god, he put my hand on his penis. What should I do? <laughs> what does it mean? Oh, I, I don't know I, what... I know what Should I squeeze means. it? <laughs> I am very smart. <laughs> Grind the pepper and figure this out. Pat it. <laughs> I, I give it an Indian burn, right? That's what you do with the oh. hand jobs. I think you're supposed to use both hands and kind of twist. <laughs> <laughs> it's like opening a jar of pickles. <laughs> yeah, Put pepper grinder. It. Grind the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Don't do a... that, by the way. <laughs> Separate podcast where we give really bad sex advice. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I came across this. Could he not come for most of the book? Did he have. Yeah, because yeah. that what sucks it, out. What his is powers. it with these fantasy books? And, like, because we read the one where the girl couldn't come yeah. and the guy had, like, magical yeah. sperm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And here we are, and it's, like, grinding his teeth. He reluctantly withdrew from her. Yet he said nothing about it. It had to be sheer torture for him. Like, I, yeah, I, he can. He just won't because he'll lose his powers. Oh. But only with her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's a choice. So I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so does that mean he could like go immediately into the bathroom and just like jack it for a second and he'd be okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Like the last I would think so. book, I think he can masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, oh, that, that was weird. Like that's one thing that romance <laughs> novels are also very against is that like the, the guys could just masturbate. Like, yeah. And then my other I feel question. Like that's a pretty important loophole. Yeah. There's one where it says she hissed with desire when they like. She does start... that a lot. Oh. I mean, has don't you anyone ever? Like, ever whenever hissed you're really with turned desire? on, don't you just sit there and go. <laughs> well, I haven't, and that's why it's my question. <laughs> Usually, if you hiss during sex, it's because they kind of like aim wrong and they're going in the wrong place, and you're like, nope. <laughs> wrong hole. <laughs> oh, 
Gotcha. Okay, so no is Has the answer. Has that never happened to you? <laughs> I feel like there's a story there, and I kind of want to hear it. How has this never happened to you guys? <laughs> I've definitely had it happen. It's okay. Okay, thank God. <laughs> just sometimes they're not paying attention. It's just like, nope, 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 wrong. <laughs> yep, yep, no. It's great because they'll, um, they'll always know because I'll just kind of just go like, <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, nope. Yep, yep, nope. <laughs> no, really? Nope. nope. <laughs> you learned a thing. <laughs> Go home, give husband gold star. Good job. <laughs> Good job for never accidentally sticking it in my bundle. <laughs> I feel like that's one of those that's, things you that's... shouldn't have to verbalize a thank you for, but... <laughs> oh. You should, because then he'll always remember. He'll remember. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. This, this episode went to really weird places. And <laughs> oh, that's okay. I mean... I'm, yeah, it was expected. <laughs> yeah, this book went to really weird places. Yeah, yes, I think this is the first book we've read for this whole thing that there have been like almost no redeeming qualities for. It yeah, was weird. a true ripping. This one, yeah. <laughs> this one got ripped apart. Most of the other oh. ones were like, "Oh, actually, it wasn't so bad." I kind of liked this part. It had these issues, but overall it was okay. There's a reason that we had such a problem finishing it. It was also, like, ripped directly from Buffy, but bad. I mean, like, there's even, like, this this main plot in Buffy where, like, Angel can't have sex with her because it makes him turn evil. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it's like, Okay, so we're we're just gonna change some little minor details on that, and call it new. That's and really one eighty the main female lead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. This was fun though. It was mm-hmm. fun. It was really enjoyable to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> And now you can return your book to the library and be like, all right. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Here yeah, you mine's, go. Mine's on my Kindle forever, unfortunately. I mean, I could delete it. <laughs> yeah, that's my... it's, it's, been, it's been on the screen, and I won't be able to forget that. <laughs> that's my favorite thing about the library, is I don't have to spend money on books that are awful. Yeah. And I don't yeah, need now to I keep have... them as proof. That... <laughs> yeah, now I have this for the rest of my life, which is awesome. <laughs> I don't want to sell it in a garage sale. I don't want my grandmother seeing that I read this book. That's what you Just sneak into, like, it. the Goodwill box. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Sneak it under, like, your bras. Under. The... I'm sure they'll like my, like, highlights of the really strange lines. They'll be like, what did this person read this for? It'll be a great anonymous white elephant present. Oh, yes. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <sighs> Ho, 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 indeed. (laughs) Yeah, and just the title was awful, too. I'm like, Night Night Pleasures. pleasures. Is it because he can only go out at night or something? It must be. And there's It's because they have sex at night, Rachel. It's funny because he's miserable all the time. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody has a good time in this book. You're going to suffer, but you're going to be happy about it. Yeah. (laughs) Wise words of Ron Weasley. (laughs) (laughs) Not the worst book I've ever read. Yes. yes. But I've read some pretty bad books. Same. (laughs) Alright, so uh, I know that we've had a lot of problems with this book. <laughs> uh, True. What are some that we could link back to, like real relationships? Don't rape like, people. Don't do. Yeah, well, when yes. your boyfriend. Yeah. Also, girls can be rapists. So if your boyfriend yeah. says stop, well, maybe listen to him. <laughs> mm-hmm. More men get sexually assaulted than get falsely accused of sexual assault. So the so... more you know. Mm-hmm. Also, like, <laughs> if someone's uncomfortable with something that you want to try, like, don't just talk them into it. 
Yeah, and don't yeah. bring it up while you're already in the middle of, like, getting yeah. into it. Like, that's like, a conversation for before you start. Like, if you're doing something different that someone's uncomfortable with it, like, they need to be completely on board. Yeah. Don't tie people down without their consent. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. <clears throat> yeah, especially if you're getting kind of kinky like that. Safe words are great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe use those. Don't hiss in pleasure. <laughs> also, uh, with the remember the whipped cream loincloth that oh, she yeah. made yes. us. That using, sounds yeah. like a yeast infection <laughs> and yeah, UTI food, together food and, at yeah, the same time. Food in the nether regions usually is not good. Wash it's, that. Wash it. <laughs> yep. Wash it off right away. <laughs> I, like, I, I, or just I use guess, it like, in different wine. places. In that wine same part, she was, she was dripping warm honey all over him. That'd be Which, so mm-hmm. sticky. Yeah. Yep. And then, like, licking it off. And it's like, I don't think that's how honey works. <laughs> also, he's a dude, so he's probably got, like, chest hair and, and hairy, shit. yeah. Oh, like, that's... Ugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. He was, like, ancient Greek. As far as I know, they're basically just marble, so... That's <laughs> true. <laughs> that's what she thinks they are. <laughs> <sighs> um, I, I, I get why using food and something like that could be, like a sexy idea or a fun idea but there's just so many downsides i feel like in practice it really isn't that like, sexy it's really messy or like syrup or anything yeah. like that is going to be really sticky whipped cream is going to melt very quickly and then just become a sticky mess and not Everywhere. really be yeah i mean like, if you it's not gonna be a... like it is I... in the movies where it just sits there all nice yeah <laughs> I feel put down a tarp and share. hose off afterwards, but just don't get anything <laughs> anywhere you can't get it out again. Yep. I feel obligated to share this uh, fun tidbit from a friend oh. experience. <laughs> uh huh. That, that a honey will leave a mark on the wall if you. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're renting, <laughs> clean it up right away. Amazing. <laughs> Oh. From a friend. <laughs> yeah, friend. This is my friend. Tell your <laughs> friend thank you. Thanks, Lauren's friend. <laughs> and um, everyone's so like, aren't you my only friend? Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the part where she tied him down without his consent, she was like recreating his torture except nicely. So yeah. it's like, she's like dripping hot honey on him, and he's just oh. like, oh, it's like the hot wax that scalded my skin off. So maybe don't like incorporate traumatizing experiences <laughs> into your sexual just out encounters. Of nowhere. Yeah, exposure therapy for PTSD is not a good idea. <laughs> no, and it's not gonna fix things in one try. <laughs> nope, you're not gonna have the sexy time one time and be like, I'm cured. <laughs> the honey and vagina cured me. <laughs> it doesn't. No, it doesn't uh. work that way. <laughs> Yeast so infection. Mediocre infections. girl with the hard. The, wait, where was I going with that? <laughs> mediocre girl with the magic vagina. <laughs> Episode title right there. Oh. <laughs> the girl with. Instead of the girl with the dragon tattoo, it's the girl with the magic vagina. <laughs> uh, I I would throw out also from like the very beginning of the book. Don't be so focused on finding a boyfriend or a husband that you're willing to settle with just literally whoever oh, yeah. when he asks you out. Um, put in some effort. You'll be a little yeah. bit happier. It shouldn't take your family, like, forcing them to break up with you for you to be like, well, good thing that happened or I'd be screwed. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't just be so passive that you're like, well, he's with me. This is the best I'm going to get. Honey, no. No. <laughs> also, 26 is perfectly young. Like, yes. Yeah. Pumpkin! <laughs> <laughs> Do not be in a rush to have children. I'm 27, married, and definitely am not ever having children. Yeah. Also it's... have a boyfriend. Yes. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that complicated. Okay. You. I mean, it's all by choice. It's all yeah. consensual. It's yeah. all, everyone's in the it's loop. It's all healthy. <laughs> <laughs> it it seemed more complicated than it is, I guess. It's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Communication. I feel like <laughs> like 
you know, 70 years ago it'd be complicated. Yeah, but I think it's, it's pretty common yeah. now. Yeah. Like, a lot more people I know are uh, doing it or admitting that it's been, like, a part of their lifestyle for a while, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it used to be a thing that people kind of did in the shadows and were embarrassed to, like, admit to, mm-hmm. which it doesn't... Was chalked up to a lot of, like, uh, cheating or they're doing orgies or just, like, sleeping around casually. Yeah, mistresses and whatnot. Swinging! Mm-hmm. Swinging. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yes, but it's not. <laughs> it's all good. So, okay, there is, there's definitely that out there. There are some people that that is what they want to do, but that is not what myself and my husband and our partners do. So... Mm-hmm. Yes, and it's all done with healthy communication, which this book could have benefited from. (laughs) By the way, I'm going to recreate your trauma sexually, all right? Okay, cool. (laughs) Except I'm not going to tell you that. I'm I'm just going to start doing it. I'm going to do it when you go, uh, no, 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 I'm going to go, shh, 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 just listen. (laughs) It's fine. So you know that thing that was awful. Let's turn that into sex. That'll cure you. In one time, I my magic it. vagina <laughs> will <laughs> cure you. <laughs> What's a therapist? What's a... <laughs> yeah, for all these book characters in the mod that's set in modern times who have these intense traumas happen to them, there's very little therapy going on, and it's, <laughs> it's worrying. <laughs> that's probably what creates all the angst. I well, guess they're also macho men. They don't need they don't therapy. Go to therapy. Ugh. <laughs> Who needs that? Hey, you listening, go to therapy if you need it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Actually, everyone should go to therapy. Like Honest, Honestly, yeah. yeah. There, I don't think stuff. there's a person on the planet who would not benefit from yeah. a good therapist. Yeah, no one's 100% mm-hmm. adjusted and mentally healthy at all times of their life, so. Yeah. So, so our... there is a reason that majority of people will say that therapy really helped them, because mm-hmm. it will actually really help. Mm-hmm. So the main takeaways are don't use torture to create sexy time. Wash honey off your walls and go see a therapist. <laughs> and don't Done. rape people. And don't, don't rape, rape people. people. <laughs> rape is it's bad. Communicate. Yeah, it's not that yeah, communicate well. It's it's not that difficult. To just it's really talk not to that someone. hard. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sucks and it's hard and it's awkward. Especially if you're introverted, but yeah, just do it. Oh yeah, no, every single time I've had to, like, have a conversation that has made me kind of, like, freak out and be like, okay, I really don't want to do this. It'd be so much easier to just bottle it up and not say anything. But then I've forced myself to talk about it, and majority of the time, the conversation's over in 30 seconds, and we're both like, that was great! (laughs) (laughs) Ha! I feel so much better now. Yep. It's all good. Do it, even if you cry, even if you hate confrontation. And I always cry. <laughs> I always cry. <laughs> That's why I hate doing time. it. It's like, hey, I want to talk about this thing. Oh, my God. Like, just do it. Just do it. It sucks. Just get mm-hmm. through it. It's always just like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you. That upset you. I won't do that again. It's like, yeah. oh, that was it? That, oh, yeah. oh, okay. Like, oh, you mean you care about me so and simple. want me to feel better? <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> Glad we're in a relationship. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Life lessons from a horrible book that I Life didn't lessons. read. <laughs> Life lessons from night pleasures. <laughs> also, if communication isn't easy, like, you do bring things up and then they yell at you, may be a good sign that it's not a good relationship. Yes. Right. If they're not letting you communicate, get out. Yeah. Or if they're not being, or if they're turning it back on you, making it, well, I'm sorry, you feel this way? Yeah. And putting it all back on you? That's very, that's bad. That's unhealthy. <laughs> or that's just not how I do relationships. I've had Ooh. that line given to Ooh. me before. Oh. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> I love that, and I use that line all the time. <laughs> it conveys so many emotions. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Anything yeah. else 
in regards to this book before we shelve it forever and never talk about it again. <laughs> By the way, we're having a book bonfire next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want this in my bookshelf. It doesn't deserve to be there. I'm going to put it in my basement. <laughs> can live in the basement. <laughs> With corner. all the other Halloween decorations. <laughs> no. Um, uh, do we have a next book? Yes, next book. Yes, yes, it is my choice. And I am so excited because we are going to read the book that inspired this whole podcast with its synopsis. Oh, boy. it is so wild. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we are reading The Angel War Fangs by Sandra Hill. And uh, I have the uh, synopsis, and it is my favorite thing ever. I think I saw a picture of this somewhere online, and I'm like, we have to read this book. (laughs) Even before the podcast was conceived, so. Okay, so this is part of the Deadly Angels series. And here we go. Once guilty of the deadly sin of gluttony, thousand-year-old Viking vampire angel Canute Sigurdsson I think, is now a lean, mean vampire devil fighting machine. His new side job? No biggie, just ridding the world of a threat called Isis while keeping the evil Lucipires, demon vampires, at bay. So when Chef Andrea Stewart hires him to rescue her sister from a cult recruiting terrorists at a Montana dude ranch, <laughs> Vangel turns cowboy. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> The too tempting mortal insists on accompanying him, surprising Knut with her bravery at every turn. But with terrorists stalking the ranch in demonoid form, Knut teletransports Andrea and himself out of danger. Accidentally into the 10th century Norselands, suddenly they have to find their way back to the future to save her family and the world, and to satisfy their insatiable attraction. What I love about this is it's just as crazy as the one we just read, except it's upfront about it. Yeah, so. <laughs> it entirely like, knows what this is. It's like they took every plot and character from every romance novel ever and just <laughs> smashed them all together. Uh-huh. <laughs> With the addition of a dude ranch in Montana. No, I have read a romance novel that is on a dude ranch. Gotcha. Ah. Yep, yep. <laughs> I mean, there's terrorists, there's Vikings, there's time travel, there's... There's a lot to unpack here. There's vampire devil demons, he's an angel, like, Uh, yeah, like... Lucifers, thank you very much. Lucifiers, or whatever the fuck. Also, I think this is... I don't know where in the series this is, but I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. I'm thinking all of these are standalone, so... It's number seven. I mean, if not, I don't think we'll be any more lost than we would be otherwise. No. (laughs) Yep. So, yeah. If you want to read along with that one, I'd highly, highly recommend it just based on the synopsis alone. It's going to be so bad. It'll be amazing. It's so, so good. It'll be just terrible. Mm Mm-hmm. It's only $3.49 on Kindle. Oh, good. Sweet. Oh, cool. The cheapest just... form of self-punishment. <laughs> oh. I really need to buy a Kindle so I don't have to have these books as, like, physical reminders <laughs> staring at me. <laughs> Ugh. Lance says I can't borrow his Kindle because he's like, you are not putting that stuff on my Kindle. <laughs> it will never stop recommending romance novels to me. Oh, not even if you just delete them right after. I know. I'm like, that's fair, I guess. <laughs> the the cheap Kindles are really cheap. Yeah. I mean, I have the, um, I don't know, when I got it, it was called the New Paper White. I don't know if it still is the same one, but um, it was reasonable, but there were ones that were a lot cheaper than this, too, so. Yeah. I want a Paper White. They're only, like, I don't know, 100 bucks or something when you catch them on a sale or mm-hmm. 80 bucks or something, so. Totally doable. I just haven't done it yet. Okay. Well, right. was there we're all that? set. Anything else we needed to talk about? I just bought the next weird. one. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> all right, and we're already going. In the carts. <laughs> <laughs> on hold from the library. Baby tonight. <laughs> yes. I feel well, so embarrassed we're checking we're these books out from the library, just so you know. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> I need to, like, get There's them from the library across the town. Cover. Yeah. Ooh. 
you need to put some like buffer books in there. It's like <laughs> how to garden, book. arts and Gardening. crafts, <laughs> a cookbook, <laughs> night pleasures. <laughs> It's like when you go to Target and you need, like, one weird thing, so you're like, I need to buy, like, just a bunch of shit, and then it looks even weirder. (laughs) Can't just buy condoms. I should also get these princess band-aids and (laughs) some... And a plunger. (laughs) A picture frame. (laughs) Pizza rolls. Some honey. (laughs) Some honey. Uh, uh, Oh... Good God! All right. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, what was the, what was the name of the book again, Rachel? Um, the Angel Wore Fangs. All right, and um, by Sandra by? Hill. By Sandra Hill. Sandra okay. Hill. So yeah, so that'll be next month. Um, Hopefully, if we can, can get it together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be able to get it together. It was just unfortunate timing, I think. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's also, the book was really hard to get through. Ugh. The book sucked and I like, made it harder, so yeah. I didn't have an excuse, except <laughs> that I had to put the joke? book down for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, this one, we're at least going into it knowing it'll be bad. Oh, yeah. This will help, hopefully. <laughs> uh. All right. But um, you can listen to other episodes of this podcast as well as rate and subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, CastBox, and Spotify. We also post a video recording of this episode to our YouTube channel, um, Bodice Ripping, and you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Bodice Ripping or Bodice Ripping Podcast for announcements um, like the new books that we're going to be reading if episodes get delayed (laughs) Uh, and other news. Um, We also, I believe, still have t-shirts for sale. Yes, teespring.com slash bodice ripping podcast. Woo! All, right. All sorts um, of stuff up there if you're into mm-hmm. it. So thanks for joining us, and here's to a ripping good time. Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>